Right now, seven women have filed a lawsuit against an OBGYN and the health care system he worked for, Dooley Health and Care. As CBS 2's Charlie DeMar reports, they accused the doctor of having an inappropriate sexual relationship with a patient and treating several others while drunk. But everybody wants to feel safe when they go to see their doctor, especially as a woman, I can say that's like the most vulnerable position that you're in, especially when you're bringing life into the world. Kieran Stort saw Dr. Vernon Cannon for what was supposed to be a routine prenatal checkup in 2019 at this Wheaton Medical Facility. When I had met with him, the appointment was brief, as in like five minutes. Um, dilated pupils, uh, slurred speech, um, wasn't even really making very good eye contact with me. Um, it didn't seem like I was even really there. The complaints continued. Seven complaints have been filed against Dr. Cannon, along with Dooley Health and Care, formerly known as DuPage Medical Group. It's our belief that a person who's intoxicated can't actually practice medicine. Patient care surveys about Dr. Cannon that were submitted to the health care system in 2019 should have been a red flag, says the attorneys behind the lawsuits. One patient writes, he was difficult to understand, seemed to be slurring when talking to me. Another wrote, I hope he's not on call when I have my baby. I would not feel good about it at all. In light of these three complaints and that arrest, it's our belief that there is no circumstance in which Dr. Cannon should have been practicing medicine at DuPage Medical Group in 2018 and 2019 and beyond. At the heart of most of these lawsuits, Dr. Cannon is accused of being intoxicated while performing exams. Another patient says she had a sexual encounter with the doctor, which according to that complaint is not only inappropriate, but unethical. Dooley Health and Care released a statement saying that Dr. Cannon has not been with them since 2020 and that patient safety is their top priority. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. We tried to contact Dr. Cannon. He did not respond to our request.